will know that God is a miracle worker. When you pass through it, you will know that God is mighty. Rise up on your feet and let's pray. This is how the reformers will emerge. The first dimension of the dealings of the Spirit is the mystery that is shrouded in the furnace of affliction. You will pass through pain. You will pass through rejection. You will pass through criticism. They will misunderstand you. You don't need to defend yourself. You will pass through all kinds of things. The Bible says, do not count it as though it's a strange thing. When you pass through fiery trials, lift your voice and begin to pray, Koinonia. Everyone, pray. I draw strength. I draw strength from the journey ahead. I draw strength for the journey ahead. Pray. I draw strength in the name of the Lord Jesus. I draw strength for the days of criticism. I draw strength for the days of weaknesses. The days when there is no result in my life. The days when there is no result in my church. The days when there is no result in my career. I draw strength to face the carryovers that I have. I draw strength to face the mockery. I draw strength to face this pain, this sickness in my body. I've been married for five years. No child. I draw strength. Go ahead and pray. He said, and Elijah went in the strength of that bread. 40 days journey. And Elijah went in the strength of that bread. Pray. Pray. I draw strength for my family. They may be persecuted. My father lost his job. Mother lost her job. But I draw strength. The storms do not come to kill me. They come to make a reformer out of me. I am part of the program of God. I am part of the program of God. I may cry for now. I may weep for now. I may not have a helper. But I lift my eyes unto the hill. From whence cometh my help. I may pass through the fire. It will prune me. It will discipline me. It will teach me obedience. But in the name of Jesus I will not give up. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Make a vow with destiny that I will not give up until I become a reformer. I will not give up. The sword of God is waiting for those who finish to be given. That mantle, that anointing for your ministry, for your business. Pass through it. Lift your voice and pray. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. No matter what happens, I may cry, but I will not give up. I may weep. There is an anointed man rising from this pain. Out of these ashes, out of these ashes, there is a general, a custodian of the mysteries of the kingdom. The reward for the pain is the anointing. The reward for the pain is the anointing. The reward for the pain, the reward for the scar, the reward for the crying is a new song. He will give you a song in the spirit. You will do great business for the kingdom. Therefore arise. Pass through it. I bring you a prophetic word. Pass through it. It will not kill you. The storms will rise. 
the stones will rise. You will forget what passed through it. You will cry many times. Pass through it. You will endure. You will endure hardship. You will endure hunger. Pass through it. I won't give up. I refuse to give up. There is a reformer. There is a principality. There is an anointing coming out through my faith. There is an anointing for it. I'm writing history. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. The last prayer point is we are going to declare the faithfulness of God. Some of you are crying. Don't let it embarrass you. You are going to say, Lord, through the pain, I say to the heavens, you are faithful. I've been mocked, but you are faithful. I saw the carryover. But my God, you are faithful. They called me a failure. They sacked me from the job. But Lord, you are faithful. He said he will marry me. After introduction, he taught me. God, you are faithful. God, you are faithful. I lost my brother through the pain. You are faithful. I lost my father through the pain. You are faithful. I lost my faith. You are faithful. My integrity has brought me trouble. You are faithful. My integrity has brought me pain. You are faithful. You are faithful. My integrity has brought me a carryover. You are still faithful. My integrity ministry has relegated me to the background. You are faithful, for I will like an edifice. Though he slay me, yet will I praise him. And all the days of my life, I will wait. But I will wait. I will be misunderstood. But I will wait when all is said and done. The purposes of the kingdom will be perfect to me. Hallelujah. We have one minute. I'd like you to pair yourselves into two and speak strength into your brother. You may be the whole you may be holding the hands of someone who came to this place ready to give up. I'd like you to speak strength and say there is a supply of the spirit. I speak to you. You saw your result yesterday. Seven carryovers. You don't know where you will start from. But I speak strength from the throne. They threw you away from the job. And they said what you studied cannot give you a living. Your ministry seems to have died. No one is recognizing your grace. But I speak strength. Speak strength. Don't give up. I release strength upon you. You can't give up at this time. You have gone through too much. You have gone through too much. You are already getting to the end. Don't give up. I supply spirit power. I supply strength from the throne in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now look at me very quickly. I want to pray specially. And I just want you to indicate by lifting your hands, you don't need to come out here. There are people who came tonight. And all you came to do is to receive strength. You have come to the end of your road. Please, not everybody. I just want you to lift your hands as I minister to you. Things have happened. You had news in your family. 
humanly speaking there's no strength to continue this thing has worried you you can't even pray again you have prayed every prayer you know how to pray in the name of the lord jesus receive the supply of the strength of the spirit i speak to you you are coming out of this you are coming out generals before you have passed through it they didn't die you will not die in it your redeemer still lives he may look silent but he will speak he may look silent but he's preparing a table before you you may not have money in your pocket but i want you to know that you shouldn't compromise the hand of your god is coming for you in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for families here represented who have come to the end of the road you have done all you know to do and nothing seems to be working i want to announce to you that there is prophecy at work in your life there is the making of a reformer it's part of the birthing process zion does not give birth without traveling he said as soon as zion travails there is a there is there is a a, a labor pain in the spirit and it's because of what is about to be birthed in your life pass through the pain like a woman passes through the pain it may last for hours for some women it may last for days others it may even require surgery but make sure the baby is not lost make sure you keep it because that baby represents your prophetic destiny keep that vision cry but keep the vision in the mighty name of jesus christ lift your hands and begin to thank god for his word hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now keep standing those who are worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time please let's not distract because i still want to prophesy a blessing to us before we go if this is your first time please find your way to the front find your way to the front if this is your first time koinonia celebrate them what a time to come god brought you to hear something that is set you on fire keep coming for coming i want you to know that your steps were ordered by the lord because the bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord hallelujah this is koinonia the lord brought you to bless you and to lift you you will never be the same i assure you in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for you and i want you to receive every part of this prayer because it will speak in your life stretch your hands thanks of god prophesy in one minute we bless you in the name of jesus We bless you. We bless you. Whatever you are trusting God for, we pray that the Lord grants it unto you. May you become mighty men and women of fire, women of prophecy, men and women of grace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we plant a hunger for spiritual things in your heart. You will keep loving the Lord and going from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Now I want you to just follow the gentleman waving his hands. You have your details and they welcome you more warmly on our behalf. God bless you in this way. Just make your way. Thank you.